soundstripe. Welcome to Philosophy Acquired, where every episode unlocks secrets to a better you. Hit subscribe and join our community of curious minds on a journey that will leave you craving for more. Chapter 1, Chance in Ancient Philosophy The concept of chance has intrigued philosophers since the dawn of thought. Ancient philosophy, with its diverse schools and thinkers, provides a rich tapestry of ideas on the nature of chance, its role in the cosmos, and its implications for human existence. This chapter explores the perspectives of pre-Socratic philosophers, Aristotle, and the Stoics on chance, shedding light on how these early ideas have shaped our understanding of this enigmatic phenomenon. Pre-Socratic Views on Chance The pre-Socratic philosophers, who preceded Socrates in the 6th and 5th centuries BCE, laid the groundwork for later philosophical inquiry. Their views on chance are fragmentary and diverse, reflecting their broader inquiries into the nature of the universe. Thales of Miletus, often considered the first philosopher, attributed the order of the cosmos to the divine, leaving little room for chance. His successors, however, began to explore the idea that not all events are determined by divine will or necessity. Anaximander, for example, introduced the concept of the aperon or the boundless, an indefinite and chaotic principle from which all things emerge. In this framework, chance can be seen as the spontaneous generation of order from disorder, uh, a process without specific divine intention. Heraclitus of Ephesus famously posited that everything flows and that change is the only constant in the universe. While he did not explicitly discuss chance, his emphasis on flux and the interplay of opposites suggests a world in which chance occurrences are a natural part of the cosmic order. Aristotle's Concept of Chance and Necessity Aristotle, one of the most influential ancient philosophers, provided a more systematic treatment of chance in his works, particularly in the physics and metaphysics. For Aristotle, chance, tyke, and necessity, anenke, are intertwined aspects of causality. Aristotle distinguishes between four causes, material, formal, efficient, and final. While he sees the universe as purposeful and ordered, he acknowledges that not all events occur for a purpose or end. Chance events, in Aristotle's view, are those that happen incidentally and without a specific purpose, often as a result of the convergence of independent causal chains. For example, if a farmer finds a treasure while plowing his field, the discovery is by chance, as the purpose of plowing is to prepare the field for crops, not to find treasure. However, chance events are not outside the realm of causality. They are simply unintended outcomes of purposeful actions or natural processes. Stoic views on fate and chance. The Stoics, a school of philosophy founded in the early 3rd century BCE, had a deterministic view of the universe in which everything is governed by a rational and providential order, logos. In this framework, there is no place for chance as an independent force. For the Stoics, what appears as chance to us is simply an expression of the underlying order of fate. They believed in the interconnectedness of all things, where every event is a necessary link in the chain of cause and effect. Human freedom, in the Stoic view, lies not in altering the course of events, which is impossible, but in aligning one's will with the rational order of the cosmos. In conclusion, ancient philosophy offers a variety of perspectives on chance, ranging from the more deterministic views of the pre-Socratics and Stoics to Aristotle's acknowledgement of chance as a real and significant aspect of the world. These early ideas set the stage for later philosophical debates on the nature of chance, determinism, and free will, which continue to resonate in contemporary thought. Chapter 2, Chance in Medieval Philosophy the role of chance in theological debates. Medieval philosophy was deeply intertwined with theology, and the concept of chance was no exception. Theologians of the time grappled with the idea of chance in the context of divine providence. How could random events exist in a world governed by an omniscient and omnipotent God? Augustine of Hippo, an early Christian philosopher, argued that what we perceive as chance is merely a manifestation of God's inscrutable plan. For Augustine, there was no true randomness, only the appearance of it from our limited human perspective. This view was further developed by Thomas Aquinas in the 13th century. Aquinas maintained that while God has foreknowledge of all events, 
This does not negate the role of chance in human affairs. He distinguished between primary causality, God's ultimate control over the universe, and secondary causality, the natural order of the world, including chance events. For Aquinas, chance occurrences were part of God's divine providence working through secondary causes to fulfill his will. The Influence of Aristotelian Thought on Medieval Views of Chance Aristotle's writings, rediscovered and translated into Latin in the 12th century, had a profound impact on medieval philosophy. His views on chance, particularly those expressed in his work Physics, became a cornerstone of medieval thought on the subject. Aristotle defined chance as an incidental cause that occurs in the pursuit of some definite end. This concept was readily integrated into the medieval worldview, where chance was seen as a tool used by God to achieve his purposes. The Aristotelian view of chance also provided a framework for understanding natural phenomena. Medieval scholars, such as Albertus Magnus and Roger Bacon, used Aristotelian principles to explain the unpredictability observed in the natural world. They argued that while God's plan was unchangeable, the secondary causes he set in motion could produce variable outcomes, which we perceive as chance events. In conclusion, the concept of chance in medieval philosophy was deeply connected to theological and Aristotelian ideas. Chance was seen as a manifestation of divine providence operating through secondary causes in accordance with God's will. The integration of Aristotelian thought provided a rational framework for understanding chance, allowing medieval philosophers to reconcile the unpredictability of the natural world with the belief in a divinely ordered universe. Chapter 3. Chance in Modern Philosophy Descartes and the Mechanistic Universe René Descartes, often hailed as the father of modern philosophy, posited a mechanistic view of the universe that left little room for chance. For Descartes, the natural world operated like a complex machine governed by deterministic laws. This perspective was rooted in his famous dualism, which separated the material realm from the spiritual. While human free will and the workings of the mind belong to the spiritual realm, the physical universe was seen as a closed system following predictable patterns. Descartes' mechanistic universe was not devoid of uncertainty. However, he attributed this not to chance, but to the limits of human knowledge. In his view, if we had complete understanding of the laws of nature and all relevant variables, we could predict the outcome of any physical event with certainty. Thus, for Descartes, what appeared as chance was merely a reflection of our ignorance. Hume's Skepticism About Causality and Chance David Hume, the Scottish Enlightenment philosopher, took a critical stance on the concept of causality, which had significant implications for the notion of chance. Hume argued that our belief in causality is not grounded in rational deduction or empirical evidence, but rather in habit and custom. We observe that certain events consistently follow others, and we come to expect this pattern, but we cannot directly perceive the causal connection. This skepticism extended to chance. Hume contended that chance is not an inherent property of the universe, but a product of our ignorance about the true causes of events. When we attribute an event to chance, we are essentially admitting our lack of knowledge about the factors that brought it about. Thus, for Hume, chance is a reflection of the limits of human understanding, rather than an objective feature of reality. Kant's Views on Chance and Determinism Immanuel Kant, influenced by both Descartes and Hume, sought to reconcile their differing views in his critical philosophy. Kant agreed with Descartes that the natural world operates according to deterministic laws, but he also acknowledged Hume's skepticism about our ability to fully comprehend those laws. Kant introduced the concept of the phenomenal world, the world as we experience it, which is governed by causality and determinism. However, he also posited the existence of the noumenal world, the realm of things in themselves, which is beyond human perception and understanding. In this noumenal realm, Kant allowed for the possibility of free will and, by extension, the existence of chance in a way that is not bound by deterministic laws. For Kant, then, chance is not merely a product of ignorance, but may also be a fundamental aspect of reality that lies beyond the reach of human cognition. This perspective opened up new avenues for considering the role of chance in the universe, balancing the deterministic view of the natural world with the possibility of indeterminism at a deeper level. Chapter 4. 
Chance in Contemporary Philosophy. The concept of chance has always been a subject of intrigue and debate in philosophical discourse. In contemporary philosophy, the role of chance has been examined and reinterpreted through various lenses, including existentialism, analytic philosophy, and the emergence of chaos theory. The role of chance in existentialist thought. Existentialism, a philosophical movement that emerged in the 20th century, emphasizes individual freedom, choice, and the inherent uncertainty of human existence. In, in this context, chance is seen as a fundamental aspect of the human condition. Existentialist thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus argue that life is inherently unpredictable, and it is up to the individual to give meaning to their existence in the face of, of this uncertainty. Sartre, in particular, highlights the role of chance in shaping our lives. He suggests that we are condemned to be free, meaning that we are thrown into a world of chance where we must make choices without predetermined guidelines. This view of chance emphasizes the randomness and unpredictability of life, challenging the notion of a deterministic universe. Chance and probability in analytic philosophy. In contrast to the existentialist perspective, analytic philosophy, with its roots in logical analysis and language, offers a more structured approach to understanding chance. This tradition explores the concept of chance through the lens of probability theory, which provides a mathematical framework for quantifying uncertainty. Philosophers like Rudolf Carnap and Hans Reichenbach have contributed significantly to the philosophical understanding of probability. They distinguish between different interpretations of probability, such as the classical, frequentist, and subjective interpretations, each offering a different perspective on the nature of chance. Analytic philosophers also engage with the problem of induction, which is closely related to the concept of chance. The challenge here is to justify our inductive practices, which involve making predictions about future events based on past occurrences in a world where chance events can disrupt regular patterns. The emergence of chaos theory and its philosophical implications. The development of chaos theory in the latter half of the 20th century has brought a new dimension to the philosophical discussion of chance. Chaos theory studies the behavior of dynamical systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions, a phenomenon popularly known as the butterfly effect. This theory challenges the classical deterministic view of the universe, suggesting that even systems governed by deterministic laws can exhibit unpredictable behavior due to the influence of chance. Philosophers like Ian Hacking and Nancy Cartwright have explored the implications of chaos theory for our understanding of causality, determinism, and the predictability of natural phenomena. The philosophical implications of chaos theory extend to various fields, including ethics, where the unpredictability of outcomes can complicate moral decision-making, and epistemology, where it raises questions about the limits of human knowledge and prediction. Here is the revised Chapter 5 without the conclusion. Chapter 5, Chance and Science. The concept of chance in quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic levels, has introduced a fundamentally new understanding of chance. Unlike classical mechanics, where the future behavior of a system can be predicted with certainty given its initial conditions, quantum mechanics embraces the inherent uncertainty of the microscopic world. At the heart of this uncertainty is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which states that certain pairs of physical properties, like position and momentum, cannot both be precisely measured at the same time. This principle implies that there is a fundamental limit to how much we can know about a system, and this limit is not due to experimental imperfections, but inherent in the nature of the system itself. Moreover, the wave function, a key concept in quantum mechanics, describes the probability of finding a particle in a particular state. The act of measurement collapses this wave function into a definite state, but until that measurement is made, the system is described by a superposition of all possible states. This probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics suggests that chance plays an irreplaceable role at the most fundamental level of physical reality. Evolutionary theory and the role of chance in natural selection. In biology, the theory of evolution by natural selection, first formulated by Charles Darwin, 
also highlights the role of chance in shaping the natural world. Variation within a species, which is the raw material for natural selection, arises through random genetic mutations. These mutations occur without any foresight for the needs of the organism, and most of them are neutral or even harmful. However, occasionally, a mutation may confer an advantage in a particular environment, leading to greater reproductive success for the individuals carrying it. This process of natural selection driven by random mutations and the differential survival and reproduction of individuals leads to the gradual evolution of species. Over long periods, chance events in the form of mutations can lead to significant changes in the genetic makeup of populations and the emergence of new species. Thus, chance plays a crucial role in the diversity and complexity of life on Earth. Tarb, the interpretation of statistical mechanics and thermodynamics. Statistical mechanics and thermodynamics are branches of physics that deal with the behavior of large numbers of particles. These fields rely heavily on statistical methods to describe the properties of systems in terms of probability distributions. In statistical mechanics, the microscopic states of a system are described by probabilities, and macroscopic properties such as temperature and pressure emerge from the collective behavior of a large number of particles. This approach acknowledges that while the exact state of each particle may be unknown or subject to chance, the overall behavior of the system can be predicted with a high degree of certainty. Thermodynamics, on the other hand, deals with the relationship between heat, work, and other forms of energy. The second law of thermodynamics, which states that the entropy of an isolated system can never decrease, can be interpreted in terms of probability. Entropy is a measure of disorder, and as a system evolves, it tends to move towards states that are more probable, which are typically those with higher entropy. In both statistical mechanics and thermodynamics, chance plays a fundamental role in determining the behavior of physical systems. While individual particles may behave unpredictably, the collective behavior of large numbers of particles can be described with great precision using statistical methods. This is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave a follow as I do this for free.